Broadway.com. It's Kyle Dean. Uh, welcome back. Hey. It's Jen coming in. It's Jen. From the stage door. There's Monday Miss night Ripley. on Broadway. Thanks for getting out. I'm hurt. Well, it's about me right now. Um, so what is this? What's going on? Okay, D. Just signing in. Signing in. Just letting everyone know that I'm here. So wait a second. What is tonight? Monday. It's Monday? What are you, what are you doing here? I don't what know. are what are we doing here? Lewis we have a show had a baby nights. boy today. Lewis had a baby boy. Yeah, you know. Is this what it says? Uh, yeah. Let's see. Hey, all. Noreen and I had a baby boy at two. What does that say? Twenty-five or fifteen? They named him Thomas after Tom Kit. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Tom. Tom Kit Richard Hobson. Thomas Richard Hobson. Two twenty-five a.m. Eight pounds, two ounces, twenty-one inches. That's good yeah. news. That's really good news. It's gonna propel us through this Monday night performance. Yeah. Hey, look what else is on the board here. Guys. Jennifer Damiano and Adam Better Chandler Barrett in concert. What's happening at this concert? No, I don't know. Any tap dancing? Hell no. <laughs> and no musical theater songs. Well, actually, Adam's singing a musical theater song. Like but what song, what musical theater song was he singing? He's singing, wait, am I allowed to tell? This would be a surprise. He's okay, singing. Okay, never mind. Oh, wait, Why don't you just tell he's us? He's singing. Just only, only, only you and I will know. <laughs> okay. It's, it'll be our secret. One of Adam's songs is How Glory Goes. I don't even know that song. You don't know that song? No. Oh, that's good stuff, man. But there's other stuff. It's all about, you know, rock and roll. And Because um, you're a rock and roll girl, you know? Yeah, you know? I'm not really a musical theater singer. I just happened to be here. <laughs> you just like accidentally ended up on on Broadway. Yeah. Who just a, thought? It's a bad. It was a bad mistake. <laughs> um, don't we look related in this picture? Don't we look related? It's keep, so weird. I keep wanting every time I see it because it's a freakishly good photo. You have to is admit. it? It's a freakishly good photo, and every day I want to. Um, this is what I want to do. I want to like. My dad. I want to draw like a mustache here. You can do that. And like no. Oh. Adam was like, I, w I would be so upset if you did that. Oh, no. I literally, you can get in trouble with things Adam. like that around here. I literally wrote um, the word party on, on a piece of paper in the stage printer's office, and then I was banned from the office. <laughs> hey, let's go visit the office. Hello. It's Broadway.com. It's Broadway.com. This is Katie. Hi, hi. say hi. <laughs> hey, so I just came in here, and yes. I saw this thing right here. This thing? What is that exactly? Oops, if someone makes a mistake, they owe the jar a dollar. I got a dollar. See, what I want to know is Can why that thing why? is not overflowing with dollars. Because we only started it a little while ago. Yesterday? <laughs> <laughs> You're going to have to come see the show because that's, that's the thing about the theater, you know. It's like, you know, look, they can't even see my face like that. There we go. Well, is that better? Nice. Well, Wait a second. There you go. Oh, there see, that's better. That's the thing about... Um, Much better. About the theater is you never know. It's always going to be different. Close it's always going to be different. Sneakers. Well, okay. So in honor of a uh, in honor of Lewis's baby, Yay. Uh, we have a we have an interview with with Lewis um, that we're going to show you right now. So peace out, and we'll see you next Wait, week. Wait, close up on my new sneaks. Oh, okay. Those are Jen's new sneaks. You got new sneaks. Lewis got a new baby, <laughs> and uh, happy. and I got nothing. Next to normal. Bye. Hi, Broadway.com. This is Kyle Dean Massey from Next to Normal, and today we're going to have an interview with uh, the actor who plays Dr. Madden and Dr. Fine in our show, Lewis Hobson. Say hi, Lewis. Hey, Broadway.com. So, um, how's it going? It's going great. How's the show going? I mean, we just we just had 300 performances, right? Yes, we ha and I've been here for almost all of them, which is kind of crazy. I've missed like three shows, I think, since we've started, minus my vacation in November, but yeah, it's been crazy, like crazy ride from going from opening and like previews all the way to now and like DC and all that kind of stuff, it's just been It's crazy. true, but you actually were involved with the show yes. even longer. Yes, I was longer involved with the show in 2003, and if you look on this like time, if you go out and buy this, this is like the souvenir program, if you look on the timeline, there's a... Let's see. A, yeah, here, here we go. There's the BMI workshop, and then there's this like first reading of Feeling Electric, March of 2002. And that was what I was involved with, and I actually played the husband, Dan. It, but it was just husband at that point. There was Diana and then husband, and I think... Oh, he, he wasn't named Dan yet? No, he was just husband. And I don't cool. think it was good, the Goodmans yet, it was just 
Diana and what was um what was like different about the show then? The show um the show has changed so much, but there are certain elements that are just like at the core of the show. Like uh, uh, Superboy and the Visible Girl was always there. Um, interesting, like trivia. Um, I've been the song that Dan sings uh, after after she commits suicide or tries to commit suicide. Uh, sorry if if I'm. <laughs> Ruining anything. Spoiler alert! Spoiler, Spoiler alert! alert. alert. Um, but that was actually in this reading that we did in 2002, and then it disappeared from the from the piece altogether until we got to DC. Um, before we went into rehearsals, uh, it was inserted back into the show after second stage. So, but yeah, there was a lot of moments of the show that were very similar. Um, but overall, the show has like changed drastically since we did that reading. That's great. I mean, that was what like. Eight years ago at this Eight point? Eight years ago, yeah. That's crazy. And who knew? I mean, that I'd come to New York. I came to New York in September of 2008, and my agents had submitted me for the show, and I'd actually gone in for uh, for the Gabe and... Uh, originally Gabe, and then Gabe and Henry, and then the understudies, and then, like, they started calling me in for the doctor, and uh, then I ended up here. But, yeah, I mean, like, my first audition coming, like, officially into the city was next to New And before that, you were, like... You in were doing Seattle. shows in Seattle, yeah, right? Yeah, Seattle. Seattle was like an amazing town for theater. Which it, it still is. I mean, it's still. I mean, it, it's an amazing place. Um, there's so many great theaters there. The Fifth Avenue Theater, the Village Theater, um, the Intamon, the Rep, ACT. There's lots of like mid-level small theaters that are just great. And that's kind of like a lot of people came out of that like whole theater scene. Like Cheyenne Jackson, I did a lot of stuff with him out there. Um, and we were both out there at the same time. And yeah, I mean, I couldn't have asked for a better place to kind of uh, like a proving ground like to cut my teeth. So. Yeah, that's awesome. So, what made you decide to like finally want to move to New York? Um, you know, it's it's hard to make a living in Seattle as an actor. It's hard to break a certain cap. It's of, hard to make a living as an actor in New York. <laughs> well, I've somehow managed to make a living here, but like your ability to like the most you can make is is not very much in Seattle. And you know, I have a family and everything, and I wanted to like make more money. And, yeah. And uh, I yeah, feel you're like actually I, you're expecting right now. Right. Yes, yes, any any moment, literally. I have my phone on vibrate right now. Any or, moment, like any in the moment, middle of the show. Literally any moment right <laughs> now, my wife could give birth to our son. And uh, so that's kind of crazy. And we found out, like, right before the Tonys. So, like, if that wasn't enough, to, like, to do all the Tony stuff and, like, have press people there and Which have is a crazy all the Tony time. voters. Like, in the midst of all that, we were living in a one-bedroom apartment in Weehawken, New Jersey, and, you know, with our daughter and... And so it's just been a crazy ride this year. We can tell how long the show's been running by uh, how long she's been pregnant, pretty much. Oh, my God. So. <laughs> so. All right. Well, that's Lewis Hobson. Bye. Come check him out. Next to normal at the Booth Theater. And uh, every day except Wednesday. Even Mondays. Even Monday nights we even have Monday shows. Even Monday nights. Even Sunday nights. Even Sunday nights. It's true. <laughs> All right. Signing off. See you guys soon. Bye. Bye.